In this video, we're going to be showing you how to block the new meta defense that everybody's going to be using in Madden 23. What's good, YouTube? My name is Cody. I want to welcome you here to the channel and welcome to the video. If you're new to the video, my channel's goal is to help you get better at Madden, help all of us get better at Madden, to be honest. Um, this gives me the motivation to get better every day myself. So, uh, anyways, if you're looking to get better at the game, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. It's free to do that. Also, I do want to let you know about our Patreon if you're not a member yet. That's where we put all of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. If you're looking to get an ebook, um, you can get all of them for just 10 bucks. We've got, I think, seven ebooks there, and we're planning to release a brand new offense and a brand new defense by the end of this week so a lot of really good stuff going on over at the patreon if you want to be a member make sure you join 10 bucks get you access to everything and you can cancel whenever you'd like to uh but anyways let's take a look at this so i wanted to do a video today to discuss the new defensive meta with the patch and um with the latest patch kind of making the 3-3 loop less effective not dead but less effective um we're going to see a lot of people, and we already were seeing a lot of people gravitate to the dollar three two six. Dollar three two six was a great defense in the beta. It was great defense last year. Um, it's been a good defense in Madden for years, but this year it's really good because of the power of slot cornerback blitzes. So I want to break down the blitz, the basic blitz in this video, and then I'm also going to show you how to pick it up. So the play is DB Fire 2. You could also do the same basic principle out of Spinner, the man version of this blitz um, that does require a little bit more adjustments, but uh, we'll just show you the main blitzing concept out of zone because our goal here today is just to talk about how to pick up the pressure consistently so that you can get routes out and uh, be able to uh, attack the defense. So I'm in the New England, I think I'm in the New England, or no, I'm in Detroit. Uh, I'm in the Detroit playbook. I love Trips tight end. It's my main offense this year. Um, and and if you want to get my trip side any book again it's in the patreon um, one of the reasons I love this formation is because it's heavy dose of play action plays specifically PA slot corner and PA counter go and so we're just gonna come out in the play PA counter go now um, what you're gonna notice with this is depending on what play I call it will make the blitz much worse or much better uh, depending on it so I'm gonna go to verticals real quick and just put five people out on a route and we're going to baseline and press. That's the best way to run this blitz. Um, really, I think one of the things that people should start thinking about with Dollar is running a show blitz out of it because you see it does bring the safeties down and it does give you a little bit better of alignment, honestly, um, from a trip's perspective. But anywho, what you're going to see here is I'm going to stand kind of right in here and I'm going to hover and you're going to see that we're going to get two slot corners free at the quarterback fairly consistently and again a lot of this is dependent upon my user my user has to suck the guard in and if my user can do that effectively um, this can be a very good blitz now a little pro tip for you if you want to not have to base align this blitz and let's say you're playing a trip set make sure that you just spread your line you'll see he'll still move out there just like that like we want him to and we'll still get this stack and then you'll see we'll still get the double edge pressure out of this there's a lot of stuff I could go into about dollar three two six we have a full ebook on dime 146 which I actually think is better than this and uh, the link to that is again in the patreon but what you're going to see here is this you know so i'm just going to have this right here and a lot of times now i'm in play action and look at that i didn't do anything and for the most part i kind of handled this pressure i didn't have to slide anybody i didn't have to do anything and for the most part i kind of handled this blitz okay um, just with blocking my running back out of a play action play now if i go back to verticals you're going to see here that we're going to fly in off both sides now, we'll say that um, one of the best tips that I could give you for picking this blitz up consistently is to use play action. So I'm just going to call play action, and you're going to cancel it right there. And then you see here that we have plenty of time to hit our crossing route or whatever we want to hit based off the routes that we put on the field. So the simplest answer to beat this blitz is call a play action play. Literally, that's the simplest answer that I could give you, um, and it's the best, honestly. Like, if you just call play action play, a lot of times this is very effective. Now, another thing that's very effective is to basically call play action play and then block your running back and slide to the left. Now, the reason that this is effective is because now you're running back, you're still going to get the same kind of core blocking that you were getting out of play action. But now what you're going to see here is now my running back is going to be kind of out into a blocking assignment as I throw it right to the other team. But 
you see the idea okay we're able to pick the pressure up that's the main thing with this so you could do this out of pa slot corner this is actually my favorite pass protection against the loop blitz was to block my running back and slide protect to the left side and this would handle a lot of the loop blitz that uh, was giving a lot of people trouble now i'm getting shedded this is because it's practice mode primarily you're going to get shedded in game but the consistency of the defensive tackle just disengaging like that I haven't seen that be a massive issue um, in terms of like actually in a game, you know, this is happening consistently. When I set this pass protection up, you can, you know, do, if you want to, you can double team this guy and then you can ID here. That's another popular way that you can handle this. And But you see here that, you know, stepping up in the pocket is really critical to beating this blitz because if you think about it, the blitzes are coming from the outside edges at you. So the easiest thing I could tell you today is call play action. And you could either block your running back on a play action, or you could not block your running back in a play action. And a lot of times it will still pick this up. Okay. But let's talk about what if you don't have a play action play. So I'm going to go to a different formation where we're not going to run uh, play action. So let's say we come out in, you know, tray open. Um, Trey Open actually I think has some, some usability this year because of how this play works. But anyways, we'll just show you. So they're going to probably use the guy on the running back side. So what we're going to do is we're going to block our running back and we're going to slide protect to the right and we're going to ID to the left. Okay. Now this right here, for the most part, if I step up well, we'll pick this blitz up as you see. And I'll show that again. So basically all you're doing is you're sliding away from the running back. And then your ID in the slot corner on the side of the running back, the ID is going to tell the running back, hey, you need to go block the corner that's coming off of the left edge. Okay. So when I slide protect to the right, block my running back, ID. And this year, I will say, um, I think it's important to do it in that order. I think it's important to slide protect right, then block my running back, then ID. And what you'll see here, we're able to step up and, you know, do a decent job. Okay. So if you can learn how to step up in the pocket, specifically against this blitz, um, that's a really, really important thing for you. Um, because what's going to happen is the defensive tackle should get like right there. There should be a really nice pocket that forms. And I can just step up, up, up and make a read. And a lot of times if you have a little bit faster quarterback than Brady, you can scramble right up the middle, especially against the man version of the split. So I'll show you the man version just real briefly here. Um, not much to talk about, honestly, with this. Um, you know, but basically this would be the setup. And then they'll kind of do this. And slide protect to the right, block running back, ID the corner. And you see here, step up, step up, step up make a read okay so that's the best thing and again stepping up into the pocket versus stepping back that's a big difference maker in terms of how you're going to be able to have more time in madden 23 so please keep that in mind but that's how to pick up the dollar 326 thanks for watching the video just a quick reminder as we close out here if you want to get all of my ebooks make sure that you join our patreon it's only ten dollars um, a month to be able to do that um, and you can cancel of course anytime so just 10 bucks to sign up get you access to everything so thanks for watching the video and if you want to sign up the link to sign up is down in the description below so head on down to the description we hope to see you guys over at the patreon page